and welcome back to the Murdy Creative Co. Podcast. I'm your host, Colin Murdy, and today's topic is a $48,000 mistake. But first, I want to say thank you to everyone who supported the company so far. If you haven't got a chance, go check us out on the web at murdycreative.co. That's M-U-R-D-Y creative.co. And you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram by searching at murdycreative.co to see the best of our product shots. Follow us to keep up to date with our daily photos and be the first one to know about new product launches. You can also use the subscribe button at the bottom of our website to be included in all of our new product announcements. Be sure to check out our laser engraving, personalization options, and exclusive colors on the website, or you can get a blank one on Amazon Prime. Also, be sure to go join our Discord server. The link is in the top of the description. That's a place where we can talk back and forth with you guys, the rest of the community, and a little bit more of a, a specific space than social media can provide. Uh, and it's a great place where I show off what I'm prototyping, what I'm working on, all the new things that we've got going on. And it's a place for you guys to offer suggestions on what we should do next. So, a couple of caveats to today's podcast. First and foremost, I have been very happy with the relationship that I have with my people over at Abstract. I have a wonderful SDR, brilliant people who are dedicated, and I think they've got a really good handle on what we sell. But I made a mistake in signing a 13-month contract. Because realistically, and it has nothing to do with the people involved. And I don't even necessarily think it has a lot to do with the strategy involved because I think that the strategy is a pretty solid strategy, all things considered. But we have had zero dollars in sales come out of that. I think I've had a grand total of three meetings where people have actually showed up. Now, they've done a great job scheduling meetings. I think we normally have about five or seven a month, sometimes more. It's only been two months, and that's a really hard part of this. We had one month, so it's technically been three months. We've already had two months of work and one month of prep, and we haven't had a single sale. Now, who knows? When you have had zero sales, all it takes is one to change that. But at this point, I think we've put something like 12000 soon to be $16,000 of cost into this. And we haven't had a single sale out of that. I mean, pragmatically speaking, it doesn't take a lot to be able to see where the flaw is in this. And the answer is the results. The flaw is in the results. Now, I'm really struggling with this because I've been really trying to break this contract. I really want to break this contract. But guess what? There's no termination clause in the contract. So we're on the hook the next, well, what is it going to be now? Eight months, nine months, or $4,000 a month? I didn't even know there was an option that was month to month. It was supposedly $1,000 more. If I would have known that, I would have taken it. I always take month to month. That is a mistake that I have made too many times. So my recommendation to anyone out there is never, ever, ever sign contracts that are not month to month. I don't care whether it's your cell phone plan. Because when it comes down to it, too much can change in too short a time. And if you've got contracts that are long-term contracts, you will get into serious trouble. And it may not happen right away. And who knows, maybe in six months, this will turn around. Maybe this abstract thing will turn into this amazing pl plan. It'll turn into this amazing revenue stream. That can happen. A lot can happen. Right? Maybe, maybe the answer is I just haven't given enough time. Right? I'm sure that's what I'm going to hear in my next meeting when I talk with my account, my account manager. And it's entirely possible that she's right. Absolutely. It's, it's entirely possible that she's right, that that's the case, that there hasn't been enough time in this equation, right? But the question is, is how long do you listen to that? How long is that an acceptable answer? Because the answer is completely unknowable. And realistically, when it comes down to it, when you're out of money, when you don't have the money for this kind of thing, it becomes a much bigger problem. Your ability to wait goes down significantly. Now, the contract was set up very well. I've been looking it over. 
There's no way to get out of it. And there's no guarantees that they put into that contract. They didn't guarantee a certain performance. So, realistically, this was a mistake. No matter how you slice it. Because if I would have been smart, there would have been, con there would have been guaranteed performance results and guaranteed results in the contract. Or there would have been a termination clause. Either way, it would have worked. But I'm about to be on the hook for $48,000 over the course of the next 13 months with no guarantees. And that's hard. That's hard to sit here now looking at this because this is just one of many factors. And this plays in top of, on top, right on the last episode on the terms and who defines the terms because here's the thing. We've had big bulk orders, but we've had terrible organizational terms with those. And more importantly, even if they paid everything up front on those bulk orders, it would still be touch and go because our regular orders, our regular customer orders are still way down. And because we haven't had time in the workshop because of these bulk orders and because there have been some of the team has been taking vacation, which I want to encourage, right? I don't want them to not take vacation. But because of that, we haven't been able to do any of the other things that we've been trying to do to improve things, right? We haven't been able to do the SEO optimization that we wanted to. We've barely been able to get the Google reviews transition done. And that's not even really finished. That's barely started. Our Facebook advertising is performing just as poorly as always. And the only thing that I can say that has been going well over the course of the last month, and it has been going well, and is actually kind of the same case as the last month as well, is our customer returning rate is up above 20% still. It's up at 23-ish. It's not bad, right? It's not quite where it was in, uh, in May. I think May we had something like uh, 25%, 25.5%. And it's nowhere near where we want it to be, um, you know, which is something more in the turn of, like 30 to 35 percent. We yeah, that's another thing. We haven't really been able to launch the products I wanted to launch because we haven't had the time. It's just too much to do for not enough money in too short a time. <sighs> it's hard being in this seat. It's hard thinking about this, and it's hard because it's been. Well, it's been over a year of this. It's been over a year of this kind of struggle. And I know it's supposed to be hard. Like, you get that. It's supposed to be hard. It's a, it's a small business. It's always hard. And I know that everyone right now is afraid of recession. Everyone right now is afraid of recession and afraid of all of that comes with that. And they're afraid of inflation and they're frustrated. And frankly, they're right to be frustrated. This was all completely avoidable. But I'm going to save that rant for some other time. But anyway, things will turn around. We'll solve this. We always do. We'll figure it out. I don't know how, but I never know how until I do. Something comes. Something always comes. Despair is not only a sin, it's bad strategy. So here we are. Moving on to the next thing. And I got to make the best of a bad situation. I got to keep going on abstract because guess what? I don't have a choice. And when you don't have a choice, well, the choice gets a lot easier then. So we'll make the best of a bad situation. And who knows? Maybe it'll turn around. I hope it turns around. I'm going to be much more upset about this if I have to do this same podcast in three months and it's just as bad or worse. I don't know how it could be worse. How could it be worse? I guess it could only be worse if we still have made no sales in six months. We'll see. Keep you posted. All right, folks. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure to check back in on tomorrow, oh, Tuesday, excuse me, for our next topic. Don't forget to check that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get notified right away of the latest podcast. If you have any questions or concerns about your leather binder, journal, folio, accessory, or anything else we sell, please do feel free to contact us on the main page of our website at murdycreative.co. Or you can contact us via Instagram and Facebook. You can text, email, call, direct message, all the usuals. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible, but we do appreciate your patience. If you want to get a hold of us, another opportunity is through our Discord channel. Be sure to join us in the Discord link below. That server is a place where you can talk with us. We can talk with you. It's a great place for the community to come together. And I do a lot of, uh, a lot of um, description of our product, product prototyping process. Wow, that's a tongue twister. 
uh, on that platform platform as well. So check out our Discord. If you have a quick question or you want to place an order over the phone, please do feel free to call us at 414-434-9001. We're available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Central Time. You can also text us at that number as well, 414-434-9001. If for whatever reason you either give a hold of us after hours or um, you know, if you don't get a hold of us during hours, please do feel free to leave us a voicemail. We do listen to those. We respond to those. We will call you back. If uh, you're calling about an order and you leave a voicemail, please do include the order number. It starts with the letter S and is followed by a series of digits. It just helps us identify who we're talking to and what we're talking about. If you think we deserve it, a good review can go a long way to help us grow. Both a review on the podcast app on whatever you're listening on, as well as a review on the product itself, if you have one. Go to murdycreative.co slash reviews. You can read all of our amazing five-star reviews there, and you can leave us a good review with the leave us a good review button. That'll take you to Google right now. You can leave a review on Google. It does help us with our SEO helps us be able to show up better in the result, results, and that's exactly what we're hoping for out of Google. If for whatever reason you had a bad experience and you want to get something fixed, please, 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 before you leave us a bad review, give us an opportunity to make things right. It is deeply important to me personally that everyone has a good experience with the company, with the product. So please, 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 before you leave us a bad review, reach out, give us an opportunity to make things right. We'll do our best. If you have any podcast topics you want to hear more about, send them my way. I am always happy to talk about just about anything, and I want to give you guys what you're looking for. I completely skipped over the word of mouth is the best form of advertising. So please tell your friends. If you want to get a little something for doing that, be sure to log in at the top of our website with a little person icon and uh, you'll get 10% back as in-store credit on any purchase you make once you have an account. Not only that, but there's a shareable link in the bottom left-hand corner of the tab. So if you go to the main page on the Murray Creative Go website, you click on the little circle icon in the bottom left-hand corner of the, of the main page, it'll open up the rewards tab. Not only can you see all the rewards points you have and redeem them, but there's also that shareable link. When you give that to your friends and family, they get $10 off their first purchase and you get $10 off in-store credit when they make that purchase. So it's a great way to help the company and uh, we're really glad people take advantage of that. If you're looking for multiple binders, journals, folios, anything we sell, for gifts, giveaways, menus, really any reason, uh, please do uh, check out our bulk discounts available on our website. All you need to do is add everything to your cart, mix and match to your heart's desire, build your own perfect package, and hit checkout. The system will automatically detect the number of quantities you have, the quantity of items, excuse me, you have in your cart. All you need to do is just click that checkout. It will automatically apply the proper book discount. It is purely based off the total cart quantity. It is not dependent on what items you get. So mix and match to your heart's desire and get that perfect package for you. If you're also looking for a custom engraved item, we have no minimum order quantities and no setup fees. It's a simple flat fee, normally $15. And you can do that by adding any, going to any of the custom product pages. So. Excuse me, you go to any product page, click add custom logo. If you click on that button, it'll take you to the custom item for that product. Custom slim cut binder, custom classic cut journal, whatever the case may be. Select the items you want, the add-ons, the colors, the things along those lines, and hit add logo. It'll take you to the customizer. When you're in the customizer, you can upload logos, you can add designs, you can add a bunch of text, you can orient it, change it, resize it, rescale it, rotate it, all the other good things and then you hit add to cart. That will take it and put it into your cart, and when we go to make that item, it ties the design that you made directly to that, so it'll be, we can just literally replicate it exactly without doing any editing, editing at all. That is for if you wanna just get one. If you wanna get a whole bunch of them, that actually, that $15 extra fee can actually go down quite a bit. It's, it, the bulk discount applies to that fee as well. One other fact is if you do not see that logo button, that add custom logo button, please do reach out to us directly via sales at murdycreative.co, S-A-L-E-S at murdycreative.co, or you can send us an email in the contact form. Attach whatever design you're interested in. We'll create a mock-up for you as well as a custom order link. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day and goodbye.